So today we're in Ezekiel 14 and 15, and you've probably already picked up on the theme that we might be considering, idolatry and its consequences. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Do you know that truth? You've heard that before? Well, spiritually, there's this dynamic. You give yourself over to an idol, it will never produce what it promises. Now, you may or may not know this about me, but I'm kind of an addicted alliterator. So I've often considered this as a thought of suggestion towards that which may lend itself towards idolatry in the 21st century. We'll call them the seven S's. Salary, status, sex, substance, situation, stuff, and sport. These dynamics, these good things, are intended by God to bring an element of gratification to your life and mine. See, they're good things. But when you and I, when we take a good thing and make it a God thing, it robs the good thing of the thing that God intended it for. And it can become an odd thing in our lives, an idol that doesn't produce what it promises. Because you see, these good things are meant to gratify our souls, so to speak, not satisfy them. Only Jesus satisfies a soul. But all those good things, salary, status, situation, sport, within their biblical context, they are a good thing. But don't take a good thing and make it a God thing where it robs the good thing of the thing that God intended it for. In Galatians, Galatians chapter 6, we see the truths of Ezekiel 14 and 15 clearly exhorted to us as Christians. Let me read this to you from Galatians 6 verse 7. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Today, don't give up. Just keep following the Lord. Don't pursue after idols. They won't produce what they promise. But today, Seek the Lord. He is the one that satisfies, and He is the one you're ultimately longing for.